Hello, I'm Michael Diamond, and you're watching Muscle Central. Okay, uh, we're talking about the Arnold Classic that's uh, about three and a half weeks away. This is not my prediction video yet. But I want to talk about one person in particular, William Bonac. Now, going into this show on paper, uh, William Bonac has to be the favorite to win. Uh, he's the defending Arnold champ. He, he won the Arnold Classic last year, beating out Dexter Jackson and Big Rami. And uh, he's the highest ranking Olympian in there. He's placed as high as second. And, <clears throat> excuse me, that show uh, where we play second, he very easily could have won the Olympia title and there would have been questions about the decision. It was so close. Uh, so on paper, yes, he should be the favorite to win. We got a very good lineup. Uh... A few season pros and some very promising uh, up and coming bodybuilders, guys on the verge of breaking into what we call the top tier. Uh, so it's not going to be an easy show by any means, but. Going back to what I just said, William Monac should be the favorite on paper to win. Not sure how this might play out. Now, I'm a, I'm a fan of William Monac. I have been for years now. If you saw other videos of mine, I when I have mentioned him, it was always uh, in good light. and uh, But the thing is, as impressive as he was in be winning the Arnold last year, it wasn't the best William Monac that we've seen. I think we've seen a better version of him. Uh, come the Olympia, I don't think it was quite as as good as his appearance in the Arnold, in his victory at the Arnold. Now, there was something about maybe it was an, uh, some sort of injury, uh, a uh, uh, leg injury, a uh, quad injury that affected his preparation. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he's not a youngster either. And I hate to think it, but an athlete, a competitor, can get old overnight. And we all, and they all reached that point at different stages, at different times. It could be one age for one, another age for another. Some people just have, in their genetics, la, more longevity. So I'm really up in the air on what, which way this is going to go. Uh... I do think this, if William Monat brings it like we've seen him bring it before, uh, as short as he is, he has a lot of thick, dense muscle everywhere on the freaking body. He has that 3D look that we talked about with Phil Heath. Uh, a little structural shortcomings, 
But beyond that, and if we see the William Bone Act that we've seen in the past, yes, he should be walking out, uh, leaving Columbus, uh, Columbus, Ohio, uh, two time uh, honor classic champion, back to back honor classic champion. If we don't see that bone act and he doesn't win, I just have a gut instinct that he won't only not win if that scenario plays out. I think uh, he might place as low as third or fourth. Uh, like I said, I'm a big William Bonac fan, and I hope that it was just some things out of control with injury or something that affected his training last year and his subsequent look that he brought to the stage. I'm hoping it's that. And we see a great William Bonac. But like I said, my gut is, instinct says if we don't see that William Bone Act, we might see a William Bone Act placing third or fourth. Uh, you might agree or disagree with what I've said. Either way, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Also, if you go to the description box, you're going to find some links there. One link is to the Facebook Muscle Central page. Any questions, you can go there, DM me. I'd be happy to answer them. The other links are to Species Nutrition and Mr. Potts Protein. Click on both links. Go to both websites. Check out all their great products. Once again, this is Michael Diamond, and I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.